In a highly unusual move, the FBI announced today that it's ordering a second look at the initial autopsy of Ronald Green. That's a black driver who died in 2019. The feds, their hunt for new evidence, well, it has the Louisiana State Trooper in the hot seat. Welcome into TYT Overruled. I'm your host, Adrian Lawrence. Ronald Green's death has been shrouded by secrecy since that night on May 10th, 2019, out in Monroe, Louisiana. The Louisiana State Trooper had initially claimed that Green died suddenly in a car crash after a high-speed chase. Here's Green's car. That doesn't look very banged up to me. And I could understand why this picture would give the FBI pause. Of course, the feds certainly had cause to dig deeper into Green's death when the trooper stories began to unravel. For instance, for two years, the ranking officer at the scene denied that his body cam footage ever existed. That footage very much does exist. It also confirms that Green was very much alive at the end of that high speed chase. Give me your fing hand. Put your hand behind your taser, taser, taser. Ah! Push your hand behind your back. Ah! Your hand behind your back. Ah! You're about to get it again if you don't put your fing hand behind your back. Alive enough for Louisiana state troopers to stun, punch, and drag Green as he cried and apologized. Hey, I'm sorry. Oh, all right. all over. Oh. Oh, this guy ain't got fucking AIDS. Oh. The autopsy listed Green's cause of death as cocaine induced agitated delirium complicated by motor vehicle collision, physical struggle, inflicted head injury, and restraint. Now this is code for what they call excited delirium. It's a pseudoscience used to blame black and brown people for their own death in police custody. But even if that junk wasn't here, the initial autopsy failed to explain how Green ended up with his most severe injuries, including a fractured breastbone and lacerated aorta. What the FBI ordered today will be at least the third autopsy on Green. An autopsy is the start, but it's also questionable how things will turn out. The FBI asked Dr. Frank Peretti, uh, who conducted the initial autopsy, to take a second look, bearing in mind that there is new evidence the Louisiana State Police had been hiding. Well, we're gonna have to wait and see if the doctor's conclusion as to the cause of Green's death actually changes from car collision to blunt force trauma, caused by what, racist rogue stateies? And on that note, I'll go ahead and leave you with what Dr. Peretti told the Associated Press when asked about Green's case. He said this, no cause of death is carved in stone. Sometimes additional investigative materials become available years later that you didn't have. The correct thing to do is to review it. Mm -hmm.